In this video, I'm going to build my very first set of custom BMW taillights. Specifically, we are going to be working with a clear set of E36 coupe taillights. And it says it's E36 coupe or convertible, but I don't know. I'm not a BMW guy. So the plan is to build out this custom LED kit that's from Illumisthetic. We're also going to add course and motion modules on either side so that we can have a sequential turn signal, but it's still going to keep everything completely plug and play for this customer. Well, as we already have a how to open and modify this exact set of lights. So uh, we can link that somewhere in the description for you. This we need to start where we always do, and that's with the parts and tools that we need. First and arguably most important part of this whole project, the thing that's gonna take us the longest is the LED kit that is from Illumisthetic. So this is the E36 coupe slash convertible kit that they already have on their website, specifically the grid design. They have a few different options, but this is the one that we liked the best. It's gonna fill it out the most. It's gonna come with the boards for either side that are pre-bent. Yeah, that's the wrong board. Uh, the, the top board is the wrong board. I do correct it in the video before I fully build them out. Just know that, that that's a different board than what the E36 actually comes with. It'll be slightly different. And it's going to come with the different LEDs that you're gonna need. So we've got white for reverse, red for the brake and park, and yellow for the amber. Also, it's gonna come with resistor pack. It's also going to come with this parking light module that is going to control the brightness of the red LEDs for the brake and the park. Everything else is not included in the kit. It is, everything else is something that you are going to have to source yourself. So first thing is going to be a set of taillights. Now this kit is specifically designed for the OEM taillights. So we are going to end up retrofitting it to this aftermarket set. This set here is from K2 Industries. It's the OEM styling. So we shouldn't have too many issues, but we are gonna have to remove that little diffuser, that little diffuser, and of course this massive red one. And then I do need to double check with the customer if he wants the inner housing to be painted black. I Pretty sure he does, but I like to double check before I do any sort of paint work that is not reversible. To actually wire up the board, I recommend a soldering iron. You can pick these up from Amazon for like 10 bucks. Of course, I'm gonna have something linked below. Solder, this is definitely gonna be required. I always recommend the thin stuff. That stuff that they sell at AutoZone or O'Reilly or any parts store is like super thick, really hard to work with. Get you the thin stuff. It's gonna be way easier again. Amazon, eBay, super easy to work with. To connect everything together, we are going to use two different colors of wire. Obviously, we're gonna use red for power and black for ground. This is relatively thin stuff, but with these specific LEDs, that's okay. If we were using any other type of LED, we would need to go a little bit thicker. For us, we are going to provide a sequential turn signal, and that is what this Corso Motion module is going to provide, a plug and play sequential turn. Really cool, I'll show you how to use it. To actually get the board to stay in place, we're gonna use some goop automotive adhesive. You can also use Shugu. Shugu also works pretty well. They're almost the same thing. These taillights are plastic welded together. See, if you look right through here, you can actually see where they are sealed. So even the fin is molded to the front lens and then plastic welded to the back housing to seal these things up, which means we have to cut them open. We always use an ultrasonic cutter just because it has such a thin blade on it that it makes a really nice cut, really clean and easy to reseal. Speaking of resealing, we are going to use a hot knife to plastic weld this thing back together once everything has been built out. After plastic welding, we're gonna use some black silicone to seal it up just to make sure that it's 100% waterproof. Before we officially begin building these boards out, I like to go ahead and mark it with a paint pen or some sort of marker that's gonna show up on this black acrylic so that we know exactly what we're getting into before we actually start building it. So if we look really closely, we've got a row of, wait a minute, we've got rows of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven LEDs all the way down. I'm not gonna count that way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna split this into groups of three and groups of four all the way down the board. So it's gonna look something like this. It's split in half and then all the way down like this. 
And according to the Illumisthetic cheat sheet, the groups of three that do have dimming is going to take a 470 resistor. So we're gonna write 470. And the groups of four on the bottom take a 270 resistor, 270. Now we have a quick reference for which resistor we need on the top and which resistor we need on the bottom. Let's take it over to a different bench so that we can get to work on putting these LEDs in and getting them soldered up properly. So now we can get started on actually building out this board right here. What we need to do is figure out these LEDs real quick. So these LEDs have a short lead and a long lead. The short lead is ground and the long lead is power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run all of the LEDs facing the same direction. So the short lead that is right there, I'm going to aim it so that it is near this center line right here for the entire top row. So something like that. And then for the bottom row, I'm going to do just the opposite just like that. I'm gonna do that so that there is one single ground running right down the middle of this. And that's just gonna help us organize. So there's gonna be one long ground running down here, a long power running down the bottom, and a long power running down the top. And then a module is gonna sit right in the middle and control the park and the brake. To actually install the entire row of LEDs, the row of three and the row of four, we're going to pop in a few of these. We're gonna push it down with a screwdriver and what we need to do is actually trim these leads shorter so i'm going to use a pair of wire snips and literally just cut them and the goal here is to cut it just short enough to reach almost over to that other led and we're going to do that for every single one what this does is allow it to be a lot cleaner of an install. Also has a really strong place to solder these two LED points together because it's got a wider area for it to solder to instead of just like one pin slightly touching another. This is how I typically wire up a single pack of these LEDs is I will wire most of them together. I will leave two of them not wired together and that is because that's where we're gonna put the resistor. So we are at the point where we are going to put the resistors in place. To do this, we are going to set it. We're gonna set the resistor right in between the two open LEDs and then we're going to twist one of the leads around the LED lead. One of the resistor leads is gonna get twisted around the LED lead, just like that. And then we are going to solder them and trim it short. There we go. Now, this pack is completely done. Obviously, we still have to wire it up, but we're not gonna do that until we get every resistor in place. Bottom board is completely built out now. This right here is the parking light. We can pump up the voltage to 12. That is going to be our brake light, nice and bright. When I flip it over, you can actually see how everything is wired. Not that you didn't just watch me do it all, but we've got power running on the top, jumps down, power running across the bottom with the ground right down the middle. Then once we install this inside of the taillight housing, we are going to have the parking and the parking light and the brake light control module inside the housing. I might put it right here on the board so it's all one little unit and it'll be easy to install. Uh, we'll see once we get there. Next up is the turn signal and the reverse light board. I do need to figure out how this was designed to have the reverse lights because some of these front LEDs here 
are supposed to be the reverse light and the ones in the back are the turn signal, which we are gonna make sequential. Some of the parts I was showing at the beginning of this video were uh, wrong. This is the actual panel for the E36. So we are going to get this thing fully wired up now that we have the other one wired up with all the LEDs. I've already got it marked off. This section over here is the reverse section and this section over here with the 470 is the amber turn signal section. So let's go ahead and get started. Sometimes you'll run into an issue like this one. These holes are just a little bit too loose. If we install that into the car, later on down the line, at some point, those are probably gonna fall out, which is not good. So when we run into this, we just like to add a little bit of the goop adhesive that we use to actually install them into the taillight assemblies. That is going to hold the LEDs in place. And both of the boards are completely built out and ready to be installed in the light. But of course we do have to cut it open and we actually have to do a little bit of paint work before we install them properly. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on that right now. These are plastic welded, so they're gonna have to be cut open for us to install these boards. The taillight lens is officially cut off of the back housing. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and paint this whole thing because right through here is actually going to be visible with the two boards that we are going to install. It would just look really weird if most of the light was black because of the boards and then you have little slivers of chrome. So we got to get rid of that. There we go. A full solid black housing. So what I'm going to do next is try to get these boards in place where they go, but without cutting all of this. I really would rather not cut all that because then it's gonna make the back look really ugly. Like this is just gonna have a big old gap in it. So if we can get these done, installed without cutting it, if there's enough room in between here and the lens, that would be great. I highly doubt it because the lens has these lines running through it and they're pretty deep. So we'll see, let's give it a shot. There we go, that is the red lights. Here we have the white reverse lights. And of course, the sequential turn signal. This German style of light is so weird to me. It took me forever to figure out what each of these sockets actually are. I mean, besides like the turn signal and the reverse, those are normal. But each of these receptacles is slightly different. So for the US spec, I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be parking light. I know for a fact that this is brake, but I think these two are slightly different. So I think this one is solely parking light. This one right here is a dual filament. So I don't know which of these bars here is actually the park and which one's the brake. So I just made sure to wire up to this one instead of like trying to guess over here. Time to seal it up. We're gonna use that black silicone, like I said. I'm gonna use up what we have here and then just switch out for a new one. For this, we just go right over the plastic weld that we already put in there. And then we are going to wipe away the excess. This is why I have a sacrificial microfiber towel. So the last few sets that we've done, I'm actually pretty stoked about this one. It was relatively simple compared to some of the builds we've had recently that have had all kinds of extra RGB and all kinds of extra wiring done. This is just nice and simple and I think it really fits with this era of BMW. Just the basic dotted LEDs. 